the whole thing about you know promethazine codeine is that it's not a drug that actually you know that some that the street made. It's a pharmaceutical drug. It's actually something you have to have a prescription to get. Now, just like anything else, once it's abused, it can have its effects. In my opinion, it just helps out with nausea and things of that nature that just might go on once you're an artist and once you get on the road and start traveling a lot, eat different foods, stand up all times of the night, kind of calms your stomach. I was introduced to the whole scissor thing, really, by one of my homeboys. I tasted his cup. And then, you know, just being out on the road, it just kind of got, became a, a drink of choice for me. Codeine Cowboy, just a term we use on the south side. You get to drinking. What up, Cowboy, you know what I mean? That's all it is, Codeine. Codeine Cowboy, just for all my drinkers out there, you know what I mean? The whole, um, it really derived from Houston anyway. Texas, you dig? And, you know, you got Dallas Cowboys, you got, you know, the whole theme of Texas was kind of like that Western civilization kind of swag anyway, so you know what I mean? And then you had cocaine cowboys that was out there. So this was just kind of like, you know, using the thing, you know? You know what I mean? Just being creative, put my own little swag to it, put my own little slang to it. You know what I mean? Since we ain't dealing with no cocaine over here, we call it codeine. You feel If you don't know, you know, I'm Titty Boy, two chains, one half a player circle, and a member of the Duffer Bad Boys. Duffer Bad Boys being our most recognizable hit up to date. Me and Dollar, that's my dog since day one. I mean, family, period. Familiar with each other's background, confident with each other's skills, just partners for life. Signed to Disturbing the Peace, you know, slash Def Jam. We put out two albums working on our third album. One was named Supply and Demand, the other one was named Flight 360. Um, basically, Duffel Bad Boys, that's, that's like the click, that's the homies. Like, every Duffel Bad Boy is not a rapper. You feel me? But every rapper that we involve ourselves with is signed to the Duffel Bad Boys, or is involved with the Duffel Bad Boy movement. Shout out to, to Mike, which was Dollar's best friend and he passed away back in the days, and just when we were younger and just you know, doing our little jugs and making little plays and hustling and getting to the money, he was just one of the guys that always had dreams and ambitions on carrying duffel bags, you know, having duffel bags full of cash. And then remembrance, you know what I mean? We just locked in on that duffel bag, boys, and you know, kept it moving. A lot of my partners, you know what I mean? We've been partners for over 15 years, you know what I mean? So let's just say it's not a not a lot of new people in the clique. Duffel bad boys, two gun gang. My studio, man, is wild, man. I can't even front, man. It's something new happen every day. You know, homies fight, pistols get drawn at each other, but you know, it's all love, you know what I mean? And, uh, Don't do that to me, yeah? Nah, no, I'm just saying, he said that was just, he said that was just, I mean, I, 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 I
me. Yeah. Why not me? I'm a handsome you know? young man. I mean, when I'm ready to get jug, I can do it. Yeah. You know, yeah, rock a Republican Gucci boots on. I do whatever. Yeah, yeah, you do it. Look, 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 it's monthly. I do whatever I want to do. Yeah, right down the front. Yeah, yeah, it's I do whatever I want to do. It's not like to show off my money, but you know, I can do what I want to do. You got that shit, don't you, man? No, I ain't got no money. I can do what I want to do. Contest over here called Cush Ups and Push Ups, what we do, what we raise. Uh, Make sure to take off your chain. That's all you got. Yeah, right. come on with it. Make sure to take off your chain. This boy been 200. Where y'all going now? You know, we, going, we going to wherever Shy going to stop at right there. Stop at Shy. Y'all, she's going to. Please? About right there. Yeah, that's cool. That look good right there. That's a 40. He gonna just drop your hand, no talking. You ain't gonna say go? Nah, I'm gonna go drop my gas. Okay. Y'all gonna be y'all a fool, boy. Nah, say it, go. Yeah, that's it. Are you mine? Yes, say it, go. Boom, boom, boom. Where would that boy hug me at, boy? Damn, man. I was too big. I couldn't even see it that good, man. I was too big. Man, I was too big laughing, man. I was like, I'm in shock right now. Man, that fat nigga running. That fat nigga running straight up. You know, we play the video game, the Xbox, the PlayStation 3, pool table. It's kind of like a recreational center for a lot of people. But basically, we just do country shit and we enjoying life. We smoking on the best. We record, dropping the best music out here on the South Side streets. And uh, a lot of people should be concerned right now. You know who you are. Potentially, because it's going to cause orgasms and shit like that, you're going to be potentially, how them girls be talking about they love you and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's going to go crazy like that, because what you do with the diaper wipe bill, you hitting them right, then you know, Put their legs up like this here, Ooh. like this right here, like a little. And like you hold a, the angles, man. Uh, and then what oh, you yeah, do? Oh then you then you steady hit it. Then you and then you oh, then you wipe them. Cold, oh, you wipe and you wipe them with the with the wood, with the front to back, back to front. How you want to do it? And and that's called. I know you got that. Yeah, yeah, that's called a that's called. Now see, they ain't even you ain't they ain't even your finishing move. See, but that's they finishing move. You feel me? This is the Chrome 1100. The Chrome 1100. Yeah. Oh, the chrome my lem hunter. Chrome my lem hunter, you just lay them flat out like this right here. Oh my God. Then, but just flat out, flat. Make them just each hand to, one hand to this side of the bed, one hand, one, hand, one foot, one foot. Then you get on top of them like a bike. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. Then you might pop a wheel on that bitch. <laughs> 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 Circle came together as a compilation in the late 90s, you know what I mean? It was founded by a friend of mine named Juk and a friend of mine named Shy. They had music background, they, you know, did their street thing in the music as well, putting out CDs. We put together a compilation where Dollar had, you know, solo songs. I maybe, you know, was, this was my first two songs I ever recorded in my whole life. The mixtape slash compilation did good in our eyes as far as just 
you know, creating a buzz. So back then, Luda was Chris Lover Lover. And I'm sure some people have heard the story, but he was working on the radio, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? It was kind of like a plan to try to get your music to him because he was a cool young cat. He was from the South Side. And um, we were kind of friends through a, a mutual friend named Lil Fate, you dig? He soon moved to an apartment complex we stayed in. You know, everything just came kind of locked in. We found out he liked music. You know what I mean? He just wasn't working on the radio. We like music. So we kind of just said, you know, whoever get on first, you know what I mean? Just kind of, you know, pull each other up. That was kind of like the deal, or kind of like the plan, so to speak. It wasn't a deal. I was rocking with him. Dollar got incarcerated for a minute, you know what I mean? A couple years. When Dollar came out, we kind of revamped, you know what I mean? Thought two heads better than one. Put our creative minds together. You know, came to Chris with the player circle idea the whole time. Our first, you know, single that we put out was was a song kind of was called Gucci Bag. You dig, and it was all about you know putting your money in a bag, a duffel bag, but it had to be a name brand bag. We was just being flamboyant. I took that whole swag down to Miami, kicked it with my dog Wayne, let him hear a mixtape or two, let him know duffel bag boys, duffel bag boys. You know, a week or two later, we recorded this duffel bag boys song, and um. That kind of set up the single and set up everything else for the first album we did, you know what I mean? And that's kind of how Player Circle kind of, you know, got got to where we are now, you know what I mean? Started in the late 90s, we grinded. So for a lot of MCs out there, man, it's not overnight. I can't even front, you know what I mean? A lot of hard work, a lot of passion, a lot of patience, like I said, so. And that's how we do I did a studio session at Patchwork on my own with my little trap money. And they smelled that loud coming from the back. They sent somebody up there, man, who got that? They said, man, baby wants some of that stuff. I said, I said all right. I went back down. Man, hollered down the floor, man. Man, and baby felt my vibe so much. And that nigga took me to New Orleans right then. First we went to the mall together. He was like, look, you know the mall at? Of course I knew the mall at. I'm from Atlanta. Took him to the mall. And I knew, first thing I know, I was down in New Orleans kicking it. That's how I met Weezy through that. Real talk though, homie. I understand I'm like a gangster. I'm keeping up with you. You know I mean? I, I see your growth. You do a lot of growth with this shit. That means you're in the studio a lot. And to be what you got to be, what you're trying to be, that's what you got to do. Being there, brown horn, like the brown horn I see on the road every day with my son, to show that you really want it. You know what I mean, dog? And that's important, dog, in this business. You know what I mean? Because you really could be your ass at home doing whatever you do, you hear me, what instead of being in front of these people like you need to do, you hear me, dog, and that's what it's about. Sometimes it don't look like money on the ground, but when you put it on the ground, it's going to catch up. You heard it, you heard it from the horse's mouth. My invitation, nigga, you know, what you just been saying, nigga? Get back, what you just been saying for the camera fucked up? We get money. Mac, Mac the president. Mac, what's good? I was to the We I'm like a Maserati away back. <laughs> <laughs> Right now it looks like Baby trying to buy the whole industry and show the industry what to do with artists. Oh, I don't know what he's trying to do, but that looks like what it is. But I was invited to Young Money, Cash Money. It probably would never expire my invitation to them. 
I was on tour with Wayne in 09, the I Am Music tour. And it was right before Drake got all the recent success, you know what I mean? Right before Nicki blew up. You know, right before the Young Money album dropped, period, you know what I mean? And just, it just really kind of gives me the confidence and the hope to know that uh, the things can happen, you feel me? Because in one year, you can see, you know, the success of, of, of where Drizzy took it. You can see the success of where Nicki took it. You know, I mean, all of them, you know what I mean? From Twist to just, you know, Lil Chucky has matured. You know what I mean? For a lot of them, it was their first tour. For, for me, it was like maybe my third or fourth. Wayne just is more a little bit more leaning, more laid back. You know what I mean? We we um, we watching ESPN before the show. You dig? We not tripping. Then when we on stage, we not tripping. We having fun. We enjoying life. You know me getting money. And that's what it is. And I, I really enjoy. I enjoy both experiences. First, you know, I just uh, such a loyal guy. Chris, such a great friend of mine. I just didn't want to look like I was click hopping. I thought I was smart enough, and still do think I'm smart enough to start my own situation. But it's all about what makes more sense right now. You know what I mean? If, if this young money is a good fit for me, as far as two chain and solo artists, I would definitely entertain it. Been thinking about entertaining it the whole time. Who knows? We'll just see what what has that what will happen. You know, welcome home, Weezy. He home now. I know he got a lot of stuff on his mind, so you know what I mean. I know he got to kind of get up on his grind, you know what I mean, like he like to do. And basically, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And, and if um, the stars line up right, everything supposed to happen like that. We'll just see. We'll see what's happening. There was a freestyle battle. Yeah. 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 Look here, boy. I got, I got a tech. Get it. We are here doing this. Hey, yeah, boy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, boy. Hey, man. Hey, yeah. Remember in school? Hey, yeah. The teacher asked me what I want to be when I grow up, you know. Hey, yeah. You know what I look up to. Told I want to be the motherfucking dope man, you feel me? The dope man, my motherfucking role model. The dope man, my motherfucking role model. The dope man, my motherfucking role model. By everybody in this bitch, they own bar. The dope man, my motherfucking role model. The dope man, my. DVD and this mixtape, um, what I tried to do was I tried to um, summarize all the mixtapes that I put out. Kind of like a best of, but it's a collective item, you know what I mean? And I, I tried to put 10 of my best of them. I put out six solo mixtapes within the last two years. And I tried to pick my, um, you know, my most confident, hardest 10 times 10 songs. And then I'm gonna add five new songs to it. You know what I mean? Just to give the people what they want and just kind of keep the ball rolling, keep it moving. I realize that I'm picking up new fans. A lot of people just not getting onto the two chain wagon. A lot of people know Titty Boy been doing his thing, and I'm just really appreciative of the whole moment. So what I'm doing is just giving the people something to um, actually see, which is me, you know what I mean? And me and my ethic, me and me doing my thing, which is just being a studio rat. 
and then also, you know, being able to hear, you know, good music that they may have missed out on if they weren't already hip, as well as some new music. Jeremy was, was, it was, it was, I knew people in that area. I hooped down there, I went to school down there for a period of time. So when I went to Montgomery, it felt good to go down there and get a check. It felt good to go pick up a check anyway, but it just felt good to go get a check. Um, they actually said that was one of the biggest shows since Jeezy Trapper Die Day, so that's big, because I used to go to them Trapper Die shows, Jeezy shut that shit down, so. It just felt good to go down there, pick up some money, let people be filling my campaign. By the time we woke up, the promoter had an already called and booked another show, and that's how we like it, baby. Then the next 72 hours, man. I've been killing the Midwest, but I've been killing, like, Tennessee for sure. I like to call it that Boosie market, you know what I'm saying? Free Boosie. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I know homie had a little lane. He was just killing down in the southeastern region to where you won't even realize a person can eat this much just out of this. This, this Memphis, this, this Tennessee, this Alabama, this Ohio, this Illinois, you know what I'm saying, this Illinois, you know what I'm saying, this, this whole little, I got a little corner, man. I got my own corner, man, I'm trapping off for of it, man. Yeah, we boom. SOE with me and people that, that know me know that means studio over everything. And that's what it is, man. It's like practice make perfect. You keep you keep working on your left hand leg, you'll never miss it, man. So that's what I that's what I'm doing. Working on this craft. Therefore that's gonna separate me from a lot of people that tend to that tend to take vacations. Take days off. Not here. Duffel Bag Boys will be partners way past when the music is over. Ludacris, Lil Tunchy, gonna be my partner way past when this music is over. I done took some from those experiences. And all that is creating a monster that's becoming, that's coming before you. Each town I go to, you know how many tracks I done snatched out. Each club I rock, she look like to ride Make me say, Each like it was signed. Each nigga walk up on me, say, Two chain. Each bra walk up on me, say, Two chain. Hell, we kill them. Just motivate me to keep going hard and hard. So, yeah, this ain't the last two chain. I got a lot of things on my brain, man. I got a lot of vision. I got a lot of things I want to see coming to life. I'm geeked up. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready to compete. I already know what we're doing. Get to the money. Get to the money. Jack. When you get through, when you get through,